And, and, and there shouldn't be any criticism levied against the search and rescue attempts in the beginning. So that's very different than what we were doing. They were doing search and rescue for survivors. So they're looking for objects that are floating in the water. Um, we're looking search and recovery for a plane that has crashed, that's on the seabed, that's not moving. So they're two different things. We have the same piece of information, but they're dealing with a changing dynamic environment, whereas we're dealing with a static environment. And that's the reason why we could find it so quickly. So I know for a, for a fact that the search and rescue effort that was conducted here was one of the largest that had been ever conducted in recent memory in terms of the number of ships, the number of planes that were out there looking on multiple days before they called it off. So no one should walk away with the impression that the Coast Guard uh, or, or, or the, or, and also the Channel Islands uh, Air Search uh, did anything other than a professional job. Uh, you know, the, the body will be um, the most sensitive of objects that they'll be picking up. And so they will be very careful about that uh, uh, to make sure, um, you know, it's, it's, it's done in the most secure possible way. Uh, and, 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 and they will undoubtedly have people on board who are experienced with the recovery of, of human remains. You know, this is, this is un sadly, this is, this is not the first time this will have happened that, that this group will have worked with something like that. So, you know, they, they, I'm sure they'll have the right professionals out there doing it. Well, th there's a much greater chance they'll get answers if it's recovered. You know, you can, without the, in without the plane, you know, then, then you're speculating. So I think they'll get, you know, they'll be able to rule things out, or rule things in, mechanical failure, those sorts of things. Uh, you know, that's the normal investigative process for any crash. So, um, I mean, I think it's imperative that the plane is recovered, and, and, and now more so that we know that somebody's down there. Between the two of us, we are informing them, er, you know, every step of the way uh, about what's going on, and, and, and they're making it clear to us, you know, what their, what their priorities are at all times. Um, I'm, you know, I haven't spoken to them verbally, um, so I can't say, but, you know, they were, they were devastated the last time we were here meeting in that, that room after the press conference. And, and, and frankly, the news is, 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 is worse today, isn't it? Because now their worst fears are confirmed. And so I, I, I imagine they'd be just as devastated you know and it's going to take a long time for them to um, to come to terms with the loss like anybody in a tragic event like this I I have this relationship with the Seller family I've been acting on their behalf but there's another party here and that's always mindful to us that David Ibbotson's family have, have the same interests in, in finding out what happened and why you know uh, he was lost in this crash Sala family because I knew the plane would be findable and, um, and and so I'm not I'm not surprised I, I personally I told my wife it could be done in six hours and we found it in like two and then spent a number of hours doing what we do to, to confirm that 